Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let It Die. We are back because uh, <laughs> some weird updates. Now yes, t t typically uh, I don't do any more like Let It Die news videos until there's some actual something new um, and not just them repeating the kind of like yearly cycle of new-ish content such as stuff that we've already had before. For instance, they had the My Bloody Valentine event. It's just re resetting, redoing it, um, keeping it on a pendulum kind of thing. Same kind of things, there's now Hearts in the Tower of Barbs, or I think there was, <laughs> um, and all these kinds of things. Um, again, we got the Mushroom Store uh, constantly getting updated. We got the season, or uh, the TDM uh, season 14 finale, which they re probably really should just say season 1 again, or season 13, or 3, whatever it is, just so that they kind of re echo that it's just re a revolving door at this point. But. Um, of course, if you were able to get a diamond, you'll be getting the uh, wheel. Again, just some side things I thought I'd keep you guys somewhat aware of. Although I'm pretty sure, again, you guys should know that everything's on a pendulum now. Everything, just just imagine, shit's gonna come back, shit's gonna go away. Okay, and then we have stuff like this, which is like PS4 and whatnot maintenance. Now the question is, what the hell are they maintenancing when there's not like, any new content? Or are they just making sure the sh it's not like I don't know by any other game that does that? <laughs> you know. Anyways. We had the Tower of Bard, Barbs on Captive Men. Basically, just a cool way to get different kind of materials for those of you guys who are climbing still in the Tower of Barbs. All that lovely stuff. Finally have the Uncle Death uh, Ninjala, whatever the hell this thing is. <laughs> Which looks like Uncle Death is now a Ninjala. Social media things, collaboration, love it, love it, love it. Cool, cool, cool. Let it die making that money. Um, so yeah, you guys are like, oh, Grin, that was it? What? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> it's not enough to make a video, my guy. You waste my time. Well, this is something that I want to talk to you guys about, which is I don't know what to make of it. So, thank you so much for some of the lovely people in our community uh, getting me this message because I had no idea. Some of you guys popped into our Let Die streams that we do on Friday. You guys reiterated that, hey, uh, there's actually new weapons that they've introduced into the Tower Barbs, but they haven't said anything. Which, oh boy, I got thoughts. Um, I don't know if that's, this is Let It Die, I don't know if this is Grasshopper Manufacturer having went through this kind of playbook of like, okay, let's probe our community to see if we can get everyone to jump back on Let It Die, make it even bigger, and we'll maybe start updating the game again. Again, I think that's flawed because you need to make sure that there's something to come back to. It doesn't really work the opposite way. Regardless, maybe after they were done probing the game, they were like, ah, okay, maybe this isn't worth something that we should you know, reinvest new events in, but instead, um, let's just cut our losses. And I wonder if this is them in some way doing that because some people found that uh, they did actually introduce brand new um, super legendary gear into the game. Kinda. <laughs> it's, it is just reskins with higher damage mo values and more in, in incentive and, and also resource cost. Um, and also they look almost they look exactly the same except they have an element tied to them <laughs> or non-element tied to them. Um, in terms of the chopper, but but yeah, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it. I, I mean, it, maybe this is the opposite of what I just said. Maybe it's them being like, okay, we're gonna try to trickle in content. I don't know if that's the case. I don't want to. I, I only want to get into that wheelhouse because it just seems so not true. <laughs> so, um, but at the very least, we can talk about some brand new weapons that look really really cool. And for those of you guys who are at the deepest deepest parts of Endgame. You will be able to actually get access to these weapons. Now, also, something I didn't mention is, yeah, this right here. And the top floor of Tangeku used to be uh, 100, or sorry, 300, I think that's it, 300 floors, and they forced you to go back down to the bottom, which is so, that's such a long time of just climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing. <laughs> same level, same level, same level, same enemy type, better armor, harder armor. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That they decided to add another 51 floors. That's pretty huge. Not only that, but I think when you get to the very highest point, which in, the, in Tangeku in this, now you have access to these in, this crazy, crazy incredible gear. But that I think it's a higher drop chance when you get into the 300 floor range. Which there's no elevator to go to the. Th if you had made it to the 301 floor, then you should get an elevator. Otherwise, you're gonna have to climb and dedicate like however many four or five hours to climbing all the way back to the top. Now, arguably, yes, you could take like a sleeping shroom thing and just you know do it, chip away at it day by day. It sounds like a nightmare, but <laughs> maybe that's the way people have done the climbing in Tangaku. God damn, <laughs> that's insane. But 
I will say that kind of hints to more towards more of a of like a hopeful future. Um, that that again, they they are technically adding floors still. So uh, so yeah, maybe if you're if you're a person who who's who's like super super at any game again, I still think Lantai always has this problem of like making content for the. I don't know how many motherfuckers get all the way to 31. All right, <laughs> I think it's a probably like 0.1 percent of the population that play this game. But <laughs> I digress. <laughs> for those 31 people, for those like what is it? Fucking, I bet it's like 200 people at the most. Uh, for those 200 fucking badasses, bang, we got content, my guy. You got you got t- content for you for another 51 floors. I know, I'm sure you're over the moon, <laughs> but. I mean, it just turned into me being like, what the fuck is happening? But the Predator, which is basically the cleaver, but without any sort of elemental affinity, and it hits so, so hard. A lot of you guys were telling me that it says, like, it only it's dealing, like, 6,000 damage, which is good, but it's not out of the realm of, like, damage that you'll see, but apparently this thing hits. It's, like, one of the heaviest hitting weapons in the game now. Again, we, we've, I've, we've showcased so many weapons that have, like, a great attack stick, or, like, stat, but we use them and they were like, <laughs> is it like all, does it scale off of shooting? Does it scale off of stamina? What's happening? It just, it's not firing as hard as it looks like it should be. So yeah. Um, also the, the, what is it? The dominion, the, the bow down the bottom right is fantastic. People are saying that it's like the ideal weapon for fighting bosses, which the bow is already really good for doing a stupid, absurd amount of damage to specifically bosses. When you did bring the blow to plus the bow to plus five or something, um, max stars plus five, etc. Uh, it was really, really good because it just had a shit ton of magazine and also hit so, so hard. So if you got those headshots, you could basically just one shot the boss, which was awesome. And then we got the lethal weapon, which is the six gun, the revolver that looks like the laziest because <laughs> it looks, it doesn't look different at all. <laughs> it looks the identical same. In fact, it looks a little more boring. You think they would have made it like, like, I don't know, super bright silver instead it's like, looks like just a platinum iron kind of thing. <laughs> but anyways, it shoots fire, so it should shred armor. Sure, but ladies and gentlemen, of course, of course, <laughs> I saved the best for last, which is kind of the best. And I feel a little jaded, or not jaded, I feel a lot of emotions. But the Ouroboros, if I'm not mistaken, um, if that's how you say it, I'm probably way off. It is a flail that is a Tengeku flail. So I probably should have mentioned this from the get go. Tengeku weapons um, are blueprint weapons that can drop only in Tengeku and they start at the very highest level of the weapon, period. But it also requires a shit ton of high level rare Tengeku uh, materials. Depending on high, high, how high you can climb, the better the drops of those high level materials, of course, etc. etc. But um, I feel like there's a golden opportunity missed. You tell me a flail. You went with poison? <laughs> Why the fuck would you not go with fire? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Having a nice fire thing, you're just like, foo, foo, foo. that'd be awesome. Instead, it's like, ah, oh, no, you're getting, it's all wet. <laughs> this is wet, gross, tetanus, nasty looking ball being swinged around. Silliness. Absolute ridiculousness. But. I digress. It's it's uh, it's a weapon that I'll never see, along with the likes of the new of the Tengaku hockey stick, which oh boy, man! If it was only not if uh, I don't know, I don't know what they could do to, to get me to climb that high. Because it, again, my problem with ten, when climbing Tengaku is just that it, to me it gets so like I, I can't even do it. I can't even I can't even imagine how you you all do it hour after hour the same floor basically after the same floor with the same enemy types with the same shit it's just like the definition of monotony a little bit <laughs> just, just bland annoying monotony but with that being said it, like i also just grind armor on the same floor so like i also do my monotony but i can only really stomach that for an hour to be fair so it's not like i'm out here trying to like that's not that's unequal <laughs> but um ladies and gentlemen if you do have a, if you fancy any of these weapons and you are very, very much at end game and you can climb that high and you do have that much time to climb that high, uh, then there's content for you, baby. It's so, so comforting and good <laughs> to know that after years and years of content, they're like, you know what? Who, you know who needs content in this game? <laughs> the people who are at floor 301. <laughs> They're the ones 
they're the ones who are like, you know what? I, honestly, to some extent, it makes sense. They're like, yeah, you you put you you did how much of this? God damn, you know, here's a weapon. Yeah, it also takes a year to level up and shit. But hey, ah. <laughs> I'm just goofing, ladies and gentlemen. I will continue if there's any sort of update on Let It Die or any sort of project that Grass Sharp Manufacturer works off works on in the future. I'll be sure to keep you guys posted. Also, again, this is content if it's if only just for like the very, 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 very highest uh, form of person but ladies and gentlemen i digress that has been an update on let it die um again again if there is any sort of thing if we, do, if we ever do find about find out about that game that um that grass hard manufacturer is working on or is supposedly working on that uncle death kind of referred to i'll let you guys know about it all that kind of stuff right now i do believe probably that grass hard manufacturer probably repivoted their efforts to help with trev strikes again wrapping that up helping that go out the door all that stuff or no more heroes sorry not trev strikes again no more heroes is what the game's called but, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say besides, okay, there's new weapons, cool, <laughs> so many guys, again, it's just like, it's a little bit of a meme where it's like, oh, oh, they need a content, okay, <laughs> oh, okay, well, all right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been nothing shy of lovely. Thank you so much for putting out with me. Also, if anyone did uh, like or share this video, thank you so much. Appreciate it immensely. It helps a lot. Thank you and goodbye.